Hey guys, real quick, before the video starts, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some potential savings that I have for you. If you are into the CX or GL series bikes, you might be familiar with Rejuve Motorcycles. So they've reached out to me and they've given me a code to extend to you guys for 10% off of any of their products. They make exhaust systems, some, uh, some foot pegs, they make, uh, they make a lot of things, a full mono shock conversion kit. So you can do like a bolt-on mono shock for your CX-500 and they are a YSS suspension dealer. So anyway, I'm going to put the code in the description and you guys follow that, either follow the link, hit, you know, enter the code, save you 10% and it's a win-win-win for everybody. So anyway, back to the video. So, GL, CX engines, these things are typically just really easy to remove. So, whatever, four bolts, five bolts, and disconnect a few things, and it's good to go. So, this is actually a very simple bike, and it came out no problem. So, as I've mentioned, the engine is, I'm going to go ahead and load it up in the van. It's just going to sit in the warehouse for a bit. And in the meantime, we're going to be working on the chassis. So, parts are on the way, and we're going to go ahead and stripping this thing down so time to do some heavy lifting uh, schedule an appointment with my chiropractor and get ready to have him call me an idiot so anyway continuing on Whew. working hard on this thing not on the whole thing just one spot so this lower link here the bolt that goes through the bottom here has just completely seized to the internal bushing this has been a pain. So I've gone through like five Sawzall blades, actually cutting the, the mid link here because, or the lower link, because I have another one, I, and there's no room to drive the bolt out. So I had to, I, I made it through one half of the bolt, and now I have to continue cutting on this side. So I've made it through over here, got to continue cutting over here. I've got the bolt backed out a little bit, but as of now, it's just trying to force the sleeve out. Oh my gosh, BFH had nothing on it too, so. So anyway, the bike, other than that, comes apart real easy, but I do need to get that thing off, and uh, that way I can get the front end off and stuff, and then start working on the corners here, so. I will prevail. What won't prevail will be more Sawzall blades though. Woo, busy day today. Over there, we got the GL650 frame. Bare frame. I have all of my little pieces and bits finished welded on it, and I went ahead and I, I cleaned up the end of the frame there. And all throughout the shop is GL650 stuff. So the lower link I was talking about didn't last. Yeah, I had to chop that thing up. Basically, the the sleeve with the bolt in here they're just seized to each other. So couldn't get that out. That was a pain in the butt. So. Anyway, I have another one, luckily, so I was able just to cut it and we're good to go. As of now, uh, I do need to dismount the tires still. I need to clean up a little bit on the swing arm, remove bearings and stuff, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll get all of this stuff, uh, not all of it, but you know, most of the stuff over to sandblasting. So get it all, get it all cleaned up and then we'll work on getting it back to a roller. Show you the frame here. completed the end. So basic cap on this side and then I took some steel to simulate this ridge going back down. Had a little fun on this side. The exhaust hanger I did, went ahead and I just followed that line. So all this is all this is new and cap and whatnot. So it's all blended. It all visually makes sense. And then we got everything else welded switch up there. It's all done. 
All right, so the bike's torn down, and since the last clip in this video, I've since gone on a vacation. While I was on vacation, I had the frame and all the goodies sandblasted. So, here we go. Everything is sandblasted, and as of now, um, what I can do is go ahead and start cleaning it and uh, get them painted. So, frame, swing arm, they're gonna be like a nice satin black, and then the wheels are probably gonna go with like a bronze color. So, anyway, get these things out of the van and start cleaning everything up. Clean in stuff up. So have the diff here. I'm not gonna go ahead and fully disassemble this thing, but I did at least split it like I normally do, just to uh, clean out the old oil residue inside. Check the gear mesh, and then just make sure all the bearings, you know, spin free and don't make any weird noises. So had these things. Uh, I've been cleaning them in the solvent tank over here. They're ready to go back together. So I'm gonna do a little uh, sealant on them, throw them back together, and then get it as an assembly before I go ahead and paint it. So. Quick update on that. Moving forward, got some stuff painted. The swing arm is in color along with the uh, final drive, which is over there drying. And then uh, another component to that. Before I paint the frame, what I wanna do, or what I have done, is I made a little splash guard, like an undertail here. So it fit in here really nice. And this is just gonna help keep like rocks and debris from getting thrown forward into like the air filters. It's just gonna keep the whole rest of the bike uh, a lot cleaner so just a simple piece made a cardboard template cut it bent it up and then i just have to make a couple little tabs here just to hold it to the bike but real simple uh just a nice little nice little detail piece and after that i can go ahead and paint the frame now what i've been painting with is just some uh, vht roll bar and chassis paint and then over this i'm going to go ahead and do a uh uh, a 2k clear just to keep everything really tough and strong so I like that kind of result and just a simplified painting process and it's still going to be durable so anyway moving forward <laughs> So just getting these tabs welded up and a lot of things fall on the ground right now, clanking into each other. But yeah, here is my inner splash guard here. Going to be really simple. I might trim that with like uh, some door edge trim or something like that just to give it a little extra something something. And uh, it should look good. Regardless though, it's going to be a nice little addition here just to keep, like I said, all the, the crap away from the filters and the engine and the inside of the bike that's getting thrown up from the tires. So anyway, got these things welded on on one side. I'm going to go ahead and flip the frame over, weld them on the other side, and then from there, I can paint the frame. Pretty excited about that. Good stuff. 